Hello guys, good day. So on this video, guys, I will show you how to make a 420 milliampere output signal using 5k ohm potentiometer. So here, guys, that's the 5k ohm potentiometer. This is a 420 analog meter. Okay, and this is my multimeter. So, guys, first I will uh, test this potentiometer, the resistance value, just to show. Okay, so you see guys, we have a 4.35k ohms resistance value. So just to check this potentiometer, I turn this in a clockwise. So you see the resistance value start to decrease. So the potentiometer is working. Okay, I need to put in the maximum resistance value. Okay, 4.89. That's the maximum. Not exactly 5K, but it's okay. So first, guys, I need to test the milliampere output of this 5K ohm potentiometer using my multimeter. So, okay. So you need to have a 24 volts DC supply. Okay, I have a 26.4 something DC volt supply. Okay. So to connect this guys, this uh, first line of the potentiometer connect to the positive supply line. And the uh, multimeter put in the milli ampere setting and the second wire of the potentiometer connect to the positive test lead and the negative test lead to the negative supply line okay so now I switch on the this is supply so you see guys we have a 5.4 something milliampere because the resistance value of the potentiometer not exactly 5k so I turn this uh, clockwise to lowering the resistance value and you see the milliampere reading start to increase so I put the maximum turn to see how much the milliampere output so we have uh, 18.9 maximum so if you put here in the analog meter I think the equivalent value is 1 so okay so I put back in the 4.8 kilo ohms resistance value of potentiometer. Okay. So we start to the 5.4 milliampere output signal. Not exactly 4. So I use this. I connect this uh, potentiometer and then analog meter so you see guys the analog meter we have uh, two terminal at the back we have the positive and negative so we have a positive negative 
positive and negative okay so guys the first line of the potentiometer already connected to the positive so the another line is the same positive so I connect to the positive terminal and the negative supply connect to the negative terminal so okay so see what happened to the meter I switch on now the DC supply bolts so we have a initial reading because we have a 5.4 uh, milliampere output you see now I turn the potentiometer clockwise to lowering the resistance value and see what happened to the analog meter. So it's starting to increase. So it's working guys. So if you don't have a pressure transmitter or you really need the 420 milliampere output signal, you can use this 5K ohm potentiometer. Uh, substitute uh, just a temporary or for emergency situation only so you see I put in the maximum so okay guys so I hope you learned something in this video so please guys don't forget to click like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also the notification bell so you always notify if I have a next knowledge sharing video okay so thank you for watching guys